ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 27th day of January. And really an amazing ice storm is unfolding for areas just north and west of the state. The big question is, will we deal with any wintry precipitation along the way this week? Let's talk about it, but first a reminder, hey, look what starts this week. Are you kidding me? It's time to crank it up. The annual Severe Weather Awareness Tour across the state, Storm Alert 2009. We kick it off Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, coming to Greene County for the first time in our 12-year history of the tour. We'll be at Greene County High School in Utah, Thursday evening at 7 in the gym. And there's the uh, rest of the schedule. There will be another date. You can see we're coming to uh, Utah, Trustville, Jasper, Oxford. One more date. We'll announce the uh, uh, extra venue a little later, probably within the next week or so. But if we're coming to a spot close to you, hope you can come meet us. Uh, you'll meet the team. You'll see some great weather stories. Uh, uh, learn how to protect you and your family during the spring tornado season and get some cool stuff. So uh, we'll see you out there on the road. Here's a look at our Gadsden Sky Cam this morning. It's mostly cloudy and pretty mild. Temperatures are generally around 50, and it's foggy down in Sumter County. That's our Sky Cam on the campus of the University of West Alabama in Livingston. Visibility very restricted there. And up on Mount Sheeha, no uh, fog or clouds there. That's looking at the lodge, and again, they're uh, sitting in the upper 40s up on that big mountain. So no freezing problems here. But boy, it's a mess not too far away. Trough in the southwest, ejecting energy uh, coming out across shallow cold air. Icing problems from North Texas all the way up into uh, West Virginia and Ohio. That red line is the line to watch. That's the freeze line at the surface. And you can see it's a little north of Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, this is uh, looks like that's at 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth at 34. So Dallas-Fort Worth is fine right now, but they should go below freezing as the day progresses. Oklahoma City, yeah, they're in the deep freeze at 23 on ice. Little Rock, 32. Memphis, 32. Uh, Nashville showing 31. Now, we understand at the moment in Memphis and Nashville the travel is not that bad, just some ice on the exposed surfaces, but just north of that red line, that icing gets awfully ugly. But around here, hey, we'll enjoy numbers like that, won't we? 50s and 40s early this morning. Well, there's the problem there that's a pretty amazing map if you're traveling ice storm warnings winter storm warnings up all the way from really the rio grande uh one, one of those counties down there touching the rio grande the, the mexican border all the way to maine and the uh, dark blue those are the ice storm warning areas that includes dallas fort worth shreveport little rock uh, areas just north of memphis around jackson and dyersburg in tennessee up into uh, kentucky and, of course, all that's going to be snow in the deeper cold air over New England. And that will impact Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, all of New England. It's going to be a mess. And there's a look at uh, some of the heavy freezing rain falling up in Kentucky. Goodness gracious, that's a, there's going to be some extended power outages there. Now, there's a look at the uh, ice projection for today. And, again, just pick out your spot, and you can see what we've got there. It runs from really around Stephenville, Texas up to the uh, D.C. Baltimore area. And the heaviest icing, again, uh, seems to be around Little Rock and up toward Louisville and Lexington, Kentucky. And there's the actual QPF chart, the expected precipitation, heaviest axis right up there in that ice storm area. Around here, it's suggesting rainfall amounts of about one-half inch, and that's probably right, and much of that will be during the day Wednesday. Well, will we have any ice here? I, well, let's take a look. Here's the 06 ZGFS at noon today, and there's your setup. Trough in the southwest. Uh, cold air very shallow with the southwest flow aloft and overrunning going on, and uh, it's just messy. But around here today, we'll be pushing 70 in spots. Highs in the upper 60s, morning clouds, a few peaks of sun this afternoon, and most of the day should be dry. Now tomorrow, periods of rain. Cold front pushes in, and it will be a day where temperatures go the wrong way. We start the day in the 50s, or maybe close to 50, and we wind up in the 30s tomorrow afternoon. And, uh, of course, all of this happens earlier up in the Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama. There could be a little bit of freezing rain or snowflakes up in, say, the Shoals. And there could be some icy spots up there. 
but down this way, again, there's a little narrow window during the day where a chance of uh, snowflakes mixing in or maybe a brief change of the snow is possible, absolutely. But the surface temperature should be above freezing, and we don't expect any driving problems. So Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, don't expect any issues, but again, up north, maybe some icy spots over the Tennessee Valley. So keep that in mind if you're traveling up north. Uh, Thursday looks cool and dry. The high should be around 50. And then Friday, the trough sharpens up again, and by golly, that looks cold. Uh, I don't know if we make it out of the 30s on Friday. And the wind is blowing. That's going to be a very raw, uncomfortable day. The uh, wind chill index below freezing much of the day. And then Saturday, the surface high right over us, so we'll be down there close to 20 Saturday morning. Teens for the valleys. And then we warm up into the uh, low 50s Saturday afternoon. Sunday should be a, a dry day with mid-50s likely. Now, Monday of next week, we've uh, seen all kind of possibilities here. A little system forming in the Gulf. And could that bring some snowflakes up here with the critical thickness values down to Birmingham? Really, the, the latest run kind of shunts almost all of that down to the south of here. We'll watch that, but for the moment, nothing to get too excited about. And then uh, the next day on Tuesday, you can see how there's just nothing there. At the end of the forecast on the 11th, what in the world is that thing over uh, South Texas? Really, the polar westerlies are up north, and that big block thing shows up. And uh, uh, I would not pretty much imagine that thing goes away on the next run. Let's just look at the NAO down there at the bottom, and you can see how it, it's been trending positive here of late. But note, it does go negative as we get into February. So, uh, you know, getting some good cold air down in here should be relatively easy to do. We just don't have details at this point because there's not much skill in identifying specific features that far in advance. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.